Save the world. Episode 32. Oh, yeah. 32. Guess what's happening this weekend? I will tell you. The Canadian Podcast Awards are getting decided this weekend in this? Toronto. What? Yeah. That's this weekend. Yeah. Holy crap Yeah. We were nominated for 11 awards. 11? Yeah. Uh, well. Well, our two podcasts. You're confusing me. I'm like, what? We got more? <laughs> More I didn't know about. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so they're they're deciding this weekend. We find out Tuesday because obviously we're not in Toronto. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Race day, Tuesday. Podcast day, Tuesday. Podcast, podcast, podcast. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday. I could do this forever, so I, All right. I should probably not. You wearing a blanket because you're cold? Yes. It snowed again. It has been snowing every night for what feels like. Years. <laughs> I know. Winter is coming and coming. Uh, and winter won't stop coming. Yeah. That should be on <laughs> Pornhub at this point. Honestly. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. So uh, I'll be shoveling the walks yet again. Uh, I like how you just decide that you're going to do it. I'm okay with that. Yeah. That's um, cool. And you've got new tires on Thank the, on the you. Panda Mobile. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. I did. Uh, I did e-transfer you money for that, which I don't think you've s- oh. still taken. So I'll be canceling that anytime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. Sweet. I also, because it was plus two yesterday, I put the little sticker on your license plate <laughs> that, that <laughs> we messed up originally. And then I used crazy glue. Then I accidentally glued my finger to your license plate. <laughs> it's like my car doesn't want us to bother it anymore. <laughs> It's tired. It's like, I'm just done. Just let me go. I, I honestly, I didn't expect it when I put the sticker on and then my thumb was stuck there. I was like, shit, this isn't good. Mm, mm-hmm. yeah. that, but, so then I tore my thumb off the license plate, left a little bit of my thumbprint behind and took a little bit of your sticker with it. Oh. So it's been a bit of a gong show this week. Yeah. Well, originally I tried to put the sticker on, but... Uh, and I'm not sure whether it was still wet or it when I cleaned minus it, 30. I cleaned it, it was still frozen. So the sticker wouldn't stick. Yeah. And then with the tires, the tires were stuck. How did you get the tire off? Finally. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, well, because it was, it was in the garage and there's no room to like get any leverage. Um, I actually had to get our gigantic ax, our wood splitting ax. And then I put the, um, cardboard up against your rim so I wouldn't wreck your rim and then I just went to town little short swings with this giant axe it took about 10 minutes before it finally popped off you know what I'm disappointed with what that you didn't videotape it so we could put that up on oh, YouTube <laughs> I to, you know what and I'll put this out there into the world that if there's anybody who wants to follow us around with a camera <laughs> oh. let us know because we really do need I've always wanted to have a scribe uh, somebody that follows me around and writes down all the cool stuff I say. Uh huh. But I think having like a videographer would be even better. You know what would be kind of sad is we think we do all these cool, crazy things, but really we probably don't. Oh no, we're so lame. <laughs> <laughs> we're so lame. It actually is like two times that happened, you know, one after the other, and then for the next three years, nothing happens at all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I that, like to think that's not the case. That, that isn't the case. We do some pretty cool stuff. You know what else is happening right now? Oh, what? The freaking Canada Games. Oh, my God. And your sister is taking some amazing pictures. Right? Yeah. Does she get to keep that parka? I hope so. I like <laughs> to think that they don't give her a Canada Games jacket and then they're like, yeah, I, give you know, back. you've you've probably spilled coffee on it. You've sweated in it. You've ran around in it. You've yeah. slidden down mountainous hills in it. Yeah. Please give it back for next year time yeah yeah so and and uh you were saying that this is one of the biggest events to happen in central alberta since the uh, 1988 winter wow. games so um the the games happen every two years the winter games happen i think every yeah. two years if i'm not mistaken i was just told this and of course i've totally forgotten now there was like uh synchronized swimming 
uh, that she was taking pictures at. She was now at the half pipe. Yeah. So she's um, so the Canada Games happen every two years. They alternate winter and summer. So the winter games happen every four years. Um, So she's doing the winter games right now, which is interesting because last week she was doing um, synchronized swimming. swimming. Um, And I don't think they called it synchronized swimming. I think they called it like water dancing uh, or something. Yeah. Something like that. Um, And her pictures were phenomenal. And she was doing that in Calgary. Those athletes are phenomenal. Holy cow. Jesus Christ. It's like they're perfect mirrors of each other. Exactly. So she has these stills of like, um, like some of them are just, you know, there's there's one woman in the water being like looking like this amazing statue. I wish statue. you guys could see Panda right now. And there's this, <laughs> there's this other woman like 12 feet away in the air yeah. looking like this dolphin out. And and then there's an, and then there's another picture she's got of these two women out of the water that are perfect twins. Yeah. And they're obvious and they're not twins, but they're exactly the same. Yeah. I don't know how they do it. It's weird. And uh and so Alberta and last night program. and last night uh she took uh pictures of uh skiers on the half pipe. Yeah. Um now, and, was that at COP? Yeah, Windsport, uh Windsport Canada oh, okay. up at uh, Canada Olympic Park. Yeah. So it's the biggest uh event in central Alberta since the uh, 1988 win- uh Winter Olympic Games. Yeah. And I was actually just saying and I posted this on Drop Bear and Panda, we had done a post um and a podcast um oh. A yeah, few months about back. About the Olympic bid. About the Olympic bid. Yeah. And Canada, for the most part, said Calgary. we don't. Sorry, Calgary, Calgary. You're right. For the most part said, we don't want to uh, bid right now because yeah. we don't have the money. We've got some shit going on. <laughs> the don't want to deal with real. it. Yeah. But if you're somebody who really wanted the Olympics right now, even if you weren't. Yeah. Go out and check this stuff out. Check it out. I mean, it's the closest thing you're going to get to the Olympics for right now. Yeah. It's, it's huge. Like, we've got... Um, they're expecting 20,000 people to, do, to this event. Wow. Um, it's in Red Deer and it's in Calgary. Um, you've got... Red Deer isn't far away. Um, no, Red Deer's just an hour and a half away. You've got 19 sports. You've got 150 events. It's Ooh. also an arts and cultural festival. 3,600 athletes. Man. You can get uh, tickets at ticketsalberta.com. Um March or uh, goes to March third, so it's February fifteenth to March third. Yeah. So we'll put links in the notes. Yeah, CanadaGames.ca slash two thousand nineteen. Yeah. But uh, Colleen was asked to uh, be a photographer for this, and yeah, she's and killing it. Holy cow! It's it's her and like I think six other other people or something. Yeah, like I that. saw a picture of them in uh, sort of huddled in the half pipe uh, at Windsport. Being all gangster and they're like <laughs> yellow gay. and yeah. red jackets. They look and pretty dope. Like the camera crew, like they did it up right. And so glad she got the opportunity to shoot. Oh, no kidding. She's such a fantastic photographer. Yeah. And uh, you can check out some of her photos. Uh, we'll put a link as well. But yeah. uh, her Instagram is uh, Colleen Regan. She's got a Flickr as well, which, of course, I don't know off the top of my head. But as well, we'll, yeah, we'll, put, links. we'll put in links. Yeah. Um, but she's she like. How lucky is that? Like, she's so talented and she does this for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, her, her photography is outstanding. Yeah. Yeah, and absolutely. And she's always sort of pushing the envelope as well. Like, oh, I'm going to take pictures of just black and white structural things. And then they turn out like, what? The, it's like art. It's great. And she just does it on the way to work. She's yeah. like, oh, I'm just going to take my f- camera anywhere I go. And she's like on the C train. Yeah. And she makes art just on the way to work and on the way home and stupid, talented. As one should. Stupid, talented siblings. Ah, <laughs> oh, gross. Um, Whatever. Yeah. But like, and she takes pictures of everything. Right. She's got wildlife photography. She's got close ups of cactus. She comes over to our house yeah. for beer and... Two days later on her Facebook, she'll have like a photograph of like the corner of our television. Yeah. And I'm like, what? When did she? That looks really good. I didn't realize our corner television looked so great. Right. And we'll go see like our our nephews play Timbits hockey and she'll have this amazing like. Oh my God. Hockey card action. Right. So (laughs) yeah, it's. I. Yeah. Whatever. Anyways. So, uh, you know, speaking of successful siblings, we were not super successful last week on our <laughs> <laughs> successful siblings to us being not successful. Cool. Yeah. So, um, so basically every week we 
you know, tend to our advertising is we boost a post on Facebook. So when we drop an episode and we're now releasing on Sundays. So we did have this cool post with episode 31 and we put it up on Facebook and Facebook said, no, we couldn't boost that post. And in fact, they suspended us they, for reasons unknown that we violated their advertising policy. So the only time that I was suspended was I wasn't actually almost suspended. There was a bomb threat at our school, Uh and they thought it was maybe me and a bunch of other people. Oh, my God. But it wasn't, and that almost suspended me, but it didn't. (laughs) That's the only time. Yeah. And now I'm suspended Well, for a Facebook post that... Yeah, well, isn't even a thing. No, I I mean you weren't suspended and I wasn't suspended. And Dropper and Panda, we were suspended from being able to promote our ad. So it's not like they blocked Dropper and Panda for being terrible people. We just couldn't advertise because we violated their policies. Now I went through their policies and their policies are huge. They're ridiculous. And here's what I think happened. Ass man we just proved his whole point. <laughs> yeah. Ass man, I get you. Yeah, poor guy. So yeah, because it, it was in the notes, and I should have I should have thought a little more about that before I wrote that down. His name is probably missing like an umlaut above the second A, so his right. name is probably like Asman. Or Asimon. Or the Asmil. or the double S's are silent. I don't know. Asman. <laughs> Azamon. 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 Uh, yeah, anyway, so so that happened. So then I tried to redo the ad, and uh, and I took out anything that could be deemed offensive. Now, here's, here's, here's my note. I now n- do not know what people are offended by anymore, because it was still blocked. So <laughs> they, they buckled down last year, or the year before. Yeah, for fake news. And- for fake news, and... and um, uh, hate hate yeah. speech and that kind of thing. So I want to say the first time that they blocked us because stuff comes up on my Facebook as well because right. technically we both run the the Facebook yeah. um, uh, site. Um, and I think at first it came up the way that it was brought to me was I think the bot thought that we were calling someone ass man like mm-hmm. hey. You're an ass man. You're yeah. a you're a jerk face. You're right. a stupid ass face well, sort of thing, yeah. right? Um, the second time they we re you reworded it, it was probably still flagged because it knew that it was still the same post as last time, even right. though it was reworded. Right. Or they went to the podcast notes. They went where the link goes and maybe they yeah. saw that. And it, it's really, it's, it's weird. And it could also be shark, shark exploitation was in the title. So that's could be offensive. I don't know. Like yeah. it, what, what's weird to me is that obviously it's a bot that catches this, right? So they're, cause they couldn't possibly scan all this. Or it's a very angry church lady named Gladys from <laughs> Southern Tennessee. <coughs> Sorry, Gladys from Southern Tennessee. We don't know that that's actually you. You know. <laughs> but uh, it, yeah, so so my feeling is that it's it's bot driven for sure. Yeah. And then when you challenge it, the you know, the hope is that a real person looks at it and goes, "Oh, okay, in context, it, this isn't what it looks like." Yeah. Uh but yeah, so basically my takeaway is that when we advertise our episodes, I'm going to be doing it in a very vanilla way, I guess. Hey, welcome to episode 32 of Drop Bear and Panda. Save Download here today. Yeah. Boop. We're Canadian. Maybe they don't like Canadians. Maybe Canada is the bad word. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but we're so polite. I know. Sort of. Sorry, Facebook. Not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't apologize enough? No, I don't know. Anyways. So we th- mentioned Timbits in this episode. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey. <gasps> What? Oh my God! It's because we skipped over Manitoba. It was Manitoba. Manitoba. Oh, we apologize to Winnipeg. Yeah, but maybe there's other places in Manitoba that we are feeling. Are there? <laughs> <laughs> it's just Winnipeg, really. We're just you're trying to get letters. <laughs> Churchill. Oh, oh, sorry, Churchill. Full of full of polar bears. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to get letters. Uh, yeah. 
Well, it's yeah. Yeah. We're sorry. It it and and what what frustrates me the most about this is, well, what is funny is that we proved Ass Man's point. Yeah. It is just his name, and obviously he was playing off. He knew that his name is a problem, and that's why he right. was doing it. Yeah. But. They also should have given him the plate because it is just his name, even though he was being a quote unquote ass about it uh, and being a troll. Yeah. But we also proved both sides. Yeah. Well, that's, with what, that's Facebook. what we do yeah. as experiential journalists. Our job is to experience stuff and report on it <laughs> <laughs> and reporting on our experiences and talk. Yeah. 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 Um, so interesting news to come out of Alberta recently. It- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we'll just go straight to Alberta out of Saskatchewan's yeah, we- <laughs> ass, man. It's all kind of coming full circle. It is kind of coming guess. full circle. Well, we're back in Alberta because because uh, we're not really a regional podcast. We tend to go all around the world, but there's some really interesting stories, uh, such as Alberta has the highest. We've got the drip. <laughs> And it's not oil, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've got the highest uh, number of STDs. Well, I used well, to call no, them STDs. They, they they didn't say it was the highest. Oh, okay. Um, you know the news on this one. So Alberta Health Services put out an alert, basically, <laughs> that said that our STI, which is sexually transmitted Infections. Infections, which used to be STDs, and I have no idea why they changed it. Maybe they were Disease offending, shaming. yeah, people with diseases. I don't know. Yeah, we're we're in a state of emergency right now in Alberta. Build a ba- wall, basically. Build yeah, a wall. you should, because Alberta's disgusting. <laughs> put put right? a put a bag on it. <laughs> Wrap it up six times plus a bag and an airlock and just shoot us out into space basically <laughs> what's oh, so what is it we our cases of syphilis have doubled since last year syphilis syphilis has doubled since wow. last year um, and I don't have the numbers on syphilis but I believe last year they said that syphilis was at an all-time high wow gonorrhea cases uh we have at about 5,000 gonorrhea cases wow. since last year. Or la- last year we had 5,000 reported gonorrhea cases. And the numbers in Alberta for STIs haven't been this high since the 80s. Whoa. Okay, Google, how do you prevent an STI? Here's a summary from the website webmd.com. Otherwise, you should. One, use latex condoms every time you have sex. Two, avoid sharing towels or underclothing. Three, wash before and after intercourse. Four, get a vaccination for hepatitis B. Five, get tested for HIV. Six, if you have a problem with drug or alcohol abuse, get help. And seven, consider that not having sex is the only sure way to prevent STDs. STDs, not STIs. Huh. Interesting. I, I lived in Banff in the 80s, and it was the world center for sexually transmitted disease. Right. We There used to be a bar called Silver City that was nicknamed Syphilis City. So you can imagine all of Alberta is worse. <laughs> and you know what the offending city right now, the highest STI city is right now? It's not Banff anymore. What? How is this possible? It's Edmonton. What? Edmonton? Edmonton. Oh, guys, girls, wrap that stuff. Right? Wow. Edmonton, get it together. Don't get it together. Just keep it apart. (laughs) (laughs) Like, I... Oh, man. Right? And I don't know whether it's just because of, like, online dating is still a thing and like there's a huge hookup culture still Uh. but keep it wrapped up like i know people are on the pill which is cool like stay on the pill you you, you're on the pill that's great but you still gotta wrap that up that's a that's some crazy numbers you oh i mean aids won't HIV won't kill you or won't kill you as quickly anymore. You still don't want it. Yeah. It's like 
and and syphilis. Uh, so quick little side story. Oh. I, I used to teach uh, skiing for the Alberta Association of Disabled Skiers. Mm -hmm. And one of the uh, people that I taught was an elder, like an older gentleman who had lost mental faculties because of untreated syphilis. So <laughs> that's something I didn't realize, too. So even if you're not sure, get checked, get tested, people. That, that's a great way to start. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, put that out there. Well, generally, if, if I mean, you, you can have it without showing symptoms, mm -hmm. right? This is what they teach you in like junior high school. Yeah. But in, when you're junior high school, you're, you're mentally challenged. <laughs> yeah, you just don't remember anything yeah, until. It's just, you just this big don't. stew of <laughs> oh. you know, estrogen and testosterone. <laughs> but, but, well, it's, it's just. And I, I get that you don't, um, you don't ever think it's going to be you. Mm. Right. Like. I, I understand that. You never think you're going to get cancer. You never think you're going to get HIV. You never think you're going to get herpes. You, it's not ever going to be you, yeah. right? Until it is. Yeah. Um, so you really don't think you're going to get anything until you show symptoms, right? right. I mean, I get that. Even even if, uh, you know, it's just, but I, oh. and I, and I, and I will admit, I've been stupid. Mm -hmm. Who hasn't been stupid? Right. But... Alberta is in the middle of a epidemic, an epidemic, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. honestly. And we give anti-vaxxers a hard time for not vaccinating their kids and themselves. And, you know, we give people a hard time with the, the measles outbreak, which is on one hand, a whole other story, which I think is just ridiculous and stupid and <laughs> unrealistic. <clears throat> and kids can die from measles. And yet... <laughs> I'm not laughing at dying from measles. I no, just, no, no. But the, but we also have an epidemic of sexually transmitted diseases yeah. in Alberta. Infections. Which is also mm -hmm. <laughs> completely... Preventable. Preventable. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of dicks. <laughs> One of my favorite topics. <laughs> Jesse Smalls. Hope Smol my parents aren't listening to this. Oh, my God. Jesse Smollett. Oh, what a dick! <laughs> wow. I might have to bring the levels down on that one. Oh, so, I looked up. Yeah, so he's uh, uh, he's alleged to have set up this whole thing and paid by check uh, to friends to... A check! To put a noose on him. A check! <laughs> well, the two checks, I presume. I, <laughs> one for each of them. <laughs> two checks! They have footage of these guys buying their their uh, race war gear at a convenience store. <laughs> and apparently they're not even white dudes. No, I know. Like, I saw this on the Colbert Report. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I can't do the jokes justice. Oh. I mean, it's not funny, but who else can make a joke about this than yeah. Stephen Colbert? But, I mean, and he's basically made all the jokes that I would have wanted to, yeah. and he did them better. Yeah, we'll put a link, because it was good. But if you're going to start a race war or complain about hate crimes, yeah. at least choose two white dudes. Yeah. I got, I got, I, I got, uh, I got nothing. I now, am I, so angry about this. Like, well, and I'm curious whether the two dudes are like going to be charged with anything because, you know, they were paid basically hired actors to do a performance piece. You know, are they in the wrong? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like that's, it's kind of, it's a, that's a weird. Like uh, uh, accessory to. A hate crime. Well, this is a felony too. Like this is a big fucking yeah. deal. This yeah, yeah. is huge. Well, I, I, you know, here's the thing though. I don't think it like legally, I don't think it's that huge. Like they were saying like maximum three years in jail and a $25,000 fine. So he'll probably just get fined. I imagine. But now, I mean, it's huge. Like, Oh, in the terms of like how it's shaping our world. That's disgusting. Uh, so it's like worse than the drips. <laughs> Some drips are fixable with some <laughs> antibiotics. This is not. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Some drips last forever. And. Well, they definitely put a dent in uh, like credibility, which is like for anybody that suffered from, you know, acts of, you know, hate crimes and stuff like that. It, it sucks. It's really fucking terrible. Uh, now, they have said 
now we're not reporters, so we can say whatever the hell we want because we just we just know what we read. We don't know Jesse. We need to trademark that. Not a reporter. T M. Yeah. Experim- experimental. Ex- experiential journalists. Not reporters. Not reporters. <laughs> but you know, th- th- he's already got his defense team on it, and uh, so they're going to fight it vigorously. Wasn't his? He just. I, I would say just apologize. Just you know, start there. Uh, take your lumps. You know, and it and it He's, I, and it sounds like he was doing it for a bump in pay, is what he had said. Like it was weird, so weird. You should see my face right now, people. I've got my hands in my air, <laughs> and my face has been distorted <laughs> into this like. Yeah. I'm having a stroke right now. Yeah, she's I can't even. Out. So. I. <laughs> On one hand, there's stuff that I just don't want to talk about because I don't want to deal with a whole lot of shit. Yeah. And I actually, so when the story broke, I actually said to Drop Bear, we probably shouldn't talk about this because I will get so riled up that I just, I can't. And then later we were like, we should probably talk about this. This is what I'm going to say about this. Yeah. I'm going to make numbers up because I don't know the actual numbers off the top of my head. But it's like, let's say... One in a thousand reports of hate crimes and rape and uh, assault, let's say, are false. Yeah. One in a thousand. Sure. But how many true reports are said to be false that are actually true? Right. Right. This is why so many are not reported because of bullshit people like this Smollett guy. Yeah. I know people who have not gone to the police because of this very thing. And it's embarrassed. There are certain acts of violence that are embarrassed or embarrassing as all hell that you don't want to talk about Mm -hmm. because you're going to get questions and stuff like that and whatever. And then people are going to ask questions like, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? And in the end, it's not your fault, but you start questioning yourself about X, Y, and Z. And then you see people like be in prison for three months or two months and that kind of thing. And then you have this guy who, when it came out, he had this horrible thing happen to him and you had all these, these stars come out and be like, Oh my God, like he's gay and he's black and he was assaulted and this is so horrible. And then he, you know, they, they were yelling this make America great again. And there is a huge problem with race wars in um, uh, America right now. And now it's come out that it was probably false, Mm -hmm. which has, made the race problem in America even more trivial. Yeah. Even though it is a huge problem. Yeah. The people who are on the side of the racists now see that it's been more trivialized, so they feel that they can probably do whatever they want. The people who are being assaulted every day now feel that they are more unsafe. You have... Um, people like Trump, who's like, see, it isn't a problem in America. Mm -hmm. So he's going to ignore it more and proceed to build his wall or, um, it, it just, it, and then you have people who are beaten on every day who will not report anything because they will be seen as liars and scapegoats. And it, I can't. I can't. I am so fucking angry at this dude that I I don't want to talk about this because our podcast is supposed to be fun and light and fluffy. And I am so <laughs> mad. And I am a white girl in Canada. Yeah. I am not a lesbian black woman in the States. Mm-hmm. I am so angry. That there's a good thing that there is Bailey's in my coffee. Yep, that's right. And I'm going to down this mofo so quickly right now. (laughs) 
Uh, Charles Manson tried to start a <laughs> right, tried to what? start a race war. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, he tried to like set up the Black Panthers to uh, start this race war, uh, which is why he killed uh, Sharon Tate. Anyway, delightful. Just, <laughs> like d- just moving things around on the chessboard a little bit. Fuck, that was a that's a bit of a rant. Weird. I. <laughs> World and is- Facebook blocks us because of ass man. <laughs> like, I know. it's so weird. We won't be boosting our post this week because <laughs> Facebook is going to be like, nope. Yeah, we're, we're probably on their radar. We'll just have a picture of two bears. <laughs> be like, nope. Oh, it's going to be a sad panda poetry today. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. So, speaking of walls, so uh, Pelosi is. Uh, on a warpath to block the you know state of emergency thing, which is interesting. And if you do watch the link that we put in this, uh, Stephen Colbert, uh, you know there's a great clip of Trump. Of course, they're gonna sue us, and then we're gonna lose, and then we're going to appeal it, and then we're gonna lose in an appellate court, and then they're gonna, and it's ridiculous. I did it's, not watch it because blah. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, so who knows? And the, how much money is that going to cost? To it's... all the wall money, <laughs> probably. <sighs> I well, didn't he? Wasn't he talking too about like California was suing him because they're now not going to get their the, fast train the, there's track? There's six states now. Is that it are, six? That, yeah, that I, I heard about. That, yeah. that was early last week, but who knows? I I don't. Uh, oh. In other news, Venezuela is freaking out. Like there's a, there's, it's actually gone ballistic. Violence erupts in Venezuela. Um, I just finished all my Baileys. Oh, that was quick. Because this podcast is getting very sad. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's lighten it up a little bit. Uh, Scott Pickett is trying to sell a really ugly lamp. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. We need to, I think his Facebook is locked down, but we need to. We need to post his lamp. Yeah. Okay. So Scott Pickett, AKA Badger has a way with words. He is selling a lamp. Mm -hmm. It's ugly as sin. In the most amazing way. Uh People have actually asked him to sell their stuff. My friend, uh, my friend Ben Greenbaum, I think had him help describe one of his trucks. Yeah. Uh, Scott also did a review of his adopted cat yeah. uh, a few years ago. Um, oh, that was funny. Which was hilarious. He he talked about how useless uh, his cat was. And then, of course, at the end, it was how much he loved him. It was it was glorious. Scott is an amazing writer. He helped us. Um, oh, don't make his head big. Well. It's not going to fit his ponytail anymore. <laughs> Okay, Scott sucks. We hate him. He's yeah. terrible. There you go. Um, but he's trying to sell this lamp, and it is the best thing that I saw this week. I mean, terrible. Ugh, gross. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think you said that he could pay you to take the lamp. Yeah. Yeah. But since it's going to be, well. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> we'll find a link to his lamp ad, and if anybody's interested in buying this horrifying, uh, I think it's like a tension lamp, so it's like between floor and ceiling. And it's got two bulbs. And from what I understand from the ad, they don't always work the way you think they're going to. So it's a bit of a surprise lamp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand it. Yeah. But he wants 200 bucks for it. Why? Worth every penny from, you know, his description. Why? Don't know. And why that lamp? Like, is he just sitting around going, well. I just want him to get mail about, like, <laughs> this lamp. Yeah. Just don't buy it. Just send him back. Really witty retorts. Nice. Please. Yeah. 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 Oh, uh, Citizen Smee is starting soon. Yep. Yeah, Scorpio Theater, it actually started on Friday. Oh, it started on Friday. It did start on Friday. And I think Friday was sold out. So oh, good for him. Citizen Smee is the sequel. Yep. Yeah, to Blood of the Red Queen. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So that's uh, that started. So it's like a film noir Alice in Wonderland adventure. Yeah. 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 Pretty cool. So yeah. that's fun. How are you going to save the world this week? I am going to. Oh, so what did I say last week? I would save the world by fixing your tire. And you you actually did something oh, that you yes. said you were going to do. <laughs> that, was, that was, yeah, that was on. Uh, like I had to make sure that I saved the world by, you know, getting a 
proper tires on your car. Mm-hmm. Um, so this week, my goal, my how I'm going to save the world is. Uh, oh, I'm going to save the world by buying local and uh, not skipping the dishes as much. <laughs> but is Safeway local? Well, not really, but there's a um, there's that little corner store corner grocery store that's all local does that mean that it's going to be and, local and yet way more expensive and the, yeah maybe then farmers markets so well. you went to the safeway mm-hmm. a couple days ago and you bought four <laughs> bags worth of stuff that yeah. wasn't food right and it was 175 dollars yeah what the ever loving hell yeah it was crazy but i mean it was like the big thing of tide because i spilt tide all over our laundry room floor one day it looked like a crime scene of you know smurf village crime scene <laughs> the blue man group was murdered in our basement <laughs> yeah, it was, oh God, it was terrifying that's just hard to clean up it's our basement yeah there's a ghost down there that's just ruining shit down there yeah uh yeah so it's lots of big things that got purchased so it was it was kind of expected but it was a lot of money holy crap yeah it was terrible. Yep. I have no idea how I'm going to save the world, so don't even ask me. Well, your job was to get three people to uh, li- like us or follow us on Facebook or whatever. How'd, th- how'd that work? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know. So I was down for the count for most of this week with a migraine because the weather has been all over the place. Yeah. It's been really cold and then really warm and then really cold. Well, yeah, really warm for winter. Yeah. Well, we, really, got, we got to plus two, then it was like minus 25, then plus one. Then plus, or like, yeah, and then like minus 17. Yeah. So I've had the dumb. We did get two reviews, though, so maybe that, maybe maybe you somehow did that. So you got two out of three. Yes. Uh, so if you go check out iTunes, there's two reviews there. You could leave one yourself if you felt so inclined. We Apparently, read them all. we are hilarious. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yep. Uh, so yeah, go in, rate us and leave us a, a fun little message because we read them all and there's no way for us to really contact you back, but just know that we read them. We appreciate you. Yeah. I'm going to go shovel the sidewalk. I am going to tell you that next year the Canada Games uh, will be in Niagara for the summertime. Oh. Please Wine follow. Country. Oh. Games will be interesting. Everyone's going to be wasted. Yeah. Drink it up. Yeah. Um, so if you can, check out the games at uh, Red Deer and Calgary. It's going to be super fun. I am going to check out my nephew's Timbits Hockey this weekend. Oh, fun. So that's how I'm going to save the world. I'm going to support my wee nephew. And then my other wee nephew, I'm going to take to the Loose Moose Kid Show. Tomorrow. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Just so stories. Yes. That's how I'm saving the world. I am being nice to my... The younger generation. Yeah. To, to help them grow up to, you know, sh- you know, shepherd the world in yes. difficult times. Yes. And lovely. There you go. Nice. You're welcome, world. <laughs> I've been Panda. <laughs> I've been Drop Bear. Okay, Google, say goodbye. We'd- like a Canadian chip would say, let's catch up later. This podcast was recorded at the Drop Bear and Panda Kensington studio. Special thanks to Emery Korch for the kick-ass theme music. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Stop them and panda, ya. Yeah. Stop them and panda, ya. Yeah. Stop them and panda. Coming at you, panda. Coming at you like a locomotive on a motherfucking bender. Yeah, I said my coach on that much. Yeah, follow me. Yeah, with my doggies. Yeah, you be checking on the flow, yo. Yeah. Checking flow. But you was quick. You can't pick my man. Yeah, yeah, the job never ends. Come on, that show.